Hi, so uh, we are going to deal with this question in this session. It says, uh, form the equation whose roots are 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. So, two roots are given and we have to form an equation. Clearly, uh, this is, uh, if an equation has two roots, then uh, it will be a quadratic equation. We dealt with it in the previous sessions. And uh, how do we form an equation if uh, we know the roots? So, the method is this. So we know that an equation whose roots alpha, beta are known is nothing but x square minus sum of minus sum of roots times x plus product of product of roots equals zero. This is the given equation, right? So hence it is x square minus sum of roots. So what are the roots? Two plus root three plus 2 minus root 3. This is the sum of the roots times x plus product of the roots, which is nothing but 2 plus root 3 times 2 minus root 3. And this must be equal to 0. This is a given equation. So hence, let's simplify. This is nothing but x square. And this root 3, root 3 will get cancelled. So hence, it is minus 4x and uh, plus 2 square minus root 3 square. Because this is of the form a, in a plus b, a minus b equals right so this equals 0 so hence the final answer or the equation is x square minus 4x plus 4 minus 3 is equal to 0 or x square minus 4x plus 1 equals 0 this is the requisite this is the equation which is required here and hence if you solve by any method which we have learned so far you'll get that this is the equation whose roots are 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3 the same question could have been solved by the fact that if or uh, we can you know uh, base the argument on factor theorem and we can say that if alpha and beta are roots or from the very fact that or uh, that if alpha and beta are rather than roots if i say zeros zeros of a polynomial polynomial then x minus alpha and x minus beta are factors factors of the polynomial right so using this also this can be solved so hence we can say the equation could be x minus alpha times x minus beta equals 0 so this happens to be the polynomial which I am writing as x minus alpha and x minus beta, this equals 0. When you give it to 0, you will get the quadratic equation. So, hence, what is it? x minus uh, first root is 2 plus root 3, and this into x plus, oh, sorry, x minus, x minus 2 minus root 3 times, right? So, this is equal to 0. When you simplify this, you will again get x square minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. These are the two methods of finding an equation, finding an equation whose roots are given.